Welcome back, my friends, to BJJ Brick Quick. This is the Jitsu Podcast. Happens in about five minutes. The music is subpar most of the time. There's those couple episodes I was really on my game. <laughs> we are covering the Ten Bullets by Tom Sachs. And Tom Sachs wrote these bullets kind of like 10 rules. You can think of it like that. And it, he was trying to run a studio or a shop, some place where you'd go and you'd build something. It's not like this list is super famous. But it has gotten out of the uh, maker uh, environment and has leaked out. You know, it's it's... Some people know. If you ask 10 people, probably nobody knows. If you ask 50, you might get one or two that that are aware of the list. We are going to bring these onto the mats. We're already on number eight. Number eight. I think this is the bullet that made this list famous. A, B, K. A is always, B is B, and K is Noling. K-N-O-L-L-I-N-G. Noling. Always be Noling. And I heard this, I, I don't know what Noling is. Okay. Well, I'm assuming most don't. <laughs> That's good. We get to learn something today. And to Noll something is kind of to organize something from a kind of a chaotic manner to a systematic, it's pleasant to look at thing. So if you think of a workbench, it's got you know, five screwdrivers kind of laying around. It's got some files. It's got, uh, you know, three or four different glues and, you know, different size washers and screws and nuts or what. You just, there's just stuff on the workbench. I could keep listing tools and <laughs> crap, but it doesn't matter. So when you null something, you are going to group like things together. You're going to align them uh, like at a 90 degree angle. You're, they're going to be lined up. So if you've got, you know, writing utensils, you've got pins and pencils and crowns and markers. You take all those, you put them over here. I'm going to put all my pencils over here, all my markers over here. And you arrange them also by size. And when you do this, it looks nice. <laughs> and it lets you know where stuff is right away. You just find things. Always be knowing. So this this keeps an organized work area. If you were to look at my desk right now, it's not organized. Stuff is not knolled. <laughs> it's really, it would take me a bit of time to knoll my desk. But if I'm always doing it, if I just, when I put the pen back, I put it back, you know, where it should go, I would say me, that would be nice. I should do that. I really urge you to look up what Nolan is. You could do it on uh, YouTube. It's a platform where people post videos. <laughs> you could do it on Google. It's a search engine or DuckDuckGo, whatever your boat, is, you know, wherever you're going to go. And and look at something that has been, been Nolan. And, oh, I get it. You'll instantly know what it is. <clears throat> so for Jiu-Jitsu. We're going to organize our jiu So, for me, with this always be knowing your jiu-jitsu, coach shows a variation on, on, on a leg drag. Where does that fit? Where does that fit into your game? I have, I do leg drags from half a dozen positions. It's one of my more favorite things to get into and, and take the back. How does that fit in my game? Does it work for my guard pass leg drag? Does it work for my uh, my side control maintenance leg drag? Does it work for my turtle leg drag? How's it fit? Where am I going to place this leg drag into my jiu-jitsu system? You learn a brand new technique. Somebody comes in, teaches a seminar. They have a little bit strange game, and they show you a foot lock that is just funky. How's it fit? Does it null at all into your game? 
are they are they having you and we've all been there they're having you get into some position that is so foreign to your jujitsu it's not gonna work you're having to invert and and also remember to you know grab their lapel as you before you did that and and then you've got to to change it hands i don't know it's just that's i'm not typically a person who inverts and so any of that won't really null into my game break well i don't have a place on the table to put it it's gonna fall off so i think that that's how we could relate abk always be nulling into our jiu-jitsu when you learn something how does it fit into what you're already doing and if it fits in there pretty well, you had a good day, my friend. I hope you're having a good day today. And I hope you stay sweaty today.